Hello there guys, I'm Unstable Voltage and this is how to feed the beast in Horizons. In the last video we took a look at the Rotary Craft mod and we built the Blast Furnace and we're going to continue looking at that mod today and build two more machine blocks from it. The first block we're going to take a look at is this. This is the work table. The work table is Rotary Craft's specific crafting station and is used to create every machine block in the Rotary Craft mod apart from the Blast Furnace and the work table itself. It's very simple to build and should be the first thing you put together after building a working blast furnace. The second block we're going to take a look at is this. This is the DC electric engine. It's the most basic type of power source you can build with the Rotary Craft mod and is basically Rotary Craft's version of a redstone engine. It's very cheap and simple to build but it does require you to have the blast furnace and the work table first. So let's head on over to the workshop and put both of them together. Okay guys, so let's make a start with our work table. First thing you're going to need to do is make a few extra bits and pieces. We're going to go over to our crafting table and the first thing we're going to do is build ourselves another crafting table, which is going to be part of our recipe. You're also going to need three pieces of stone. Bear in mind that is smooth stone, not cobblestone. So if you've got cobble, you'll have to cook it in the furnace. Three pieces of stone in a straight horizontal line will give you six stone slabs. You only need two of them, but you always get them in sixes. You're also going to need four bricks. Now, if you don't know how to make bricks, go and find a beach, dig yourself up some clay. Four pieces of clay in the furnace will give you four bricks. Put those four bricks in a crafting table, two by two, and that will give you a bricks block. You're also going to need some redstone and you're also going to need some HSLA steel ingots which is what you basically needed to build the blast furnace for in the first place. So back at the crafting table you want your new crafting table that you've just made in the middle top slot. Ignore the crafting station that's part of Tinker's construct. You want the bricks in the center. You want one piece of redstone in the middle at the bottom two stone slabs in the bottom corners and then two of the steel ingots one either side of the bricks and that will give you the work table so let's pop that down in place now if we look at the interface you can see it is very similar to a crafting table except it has more output slots on this side it can be used to build any of the machine blocks within the rotary craft mod and it can also be used to replace the springs on wind up tools but we will cover that in a later video if you click the info panel on the left hand side it will take you basically to your uh, rotary craft book with all of the items so it will take you straight to the page for the work table so now we have a work table we can actually start to build machine blocks from rotary craft so let's have a look at that dc electric engine now the DC electric engine is nice and easy to build and if we have a little look at our Rotary Craft handbook and we click the third icon down which is power supply and we can see right at the top here we have the DC electric engine. Usefully it gives us the recipe here and it tells us that it outputs 4 newton meters of torque at 256 rads per second which generates 1.024 kilowatts of power. So this is what we're going to build here. So we've got the recipe there already, but the parts that you're going to need at a crafting table, you're going to need a few of the HSLA steel ingots. The first thing to do is to lay three of them out in a horizontal line, and that will give you three base panels. You're also going to need to lay three of them out in a diagonal from the top right hand corner to the bottom left. It actually works the other way around. So from corner to corner, three HSA, HSLA steel ingots will give you three shaft units. Now you always end up with a few extra ones when you make them, but you will use them up because pretty much everything in Rotary Craft uses these two basic materials in some way. Now even though they are part of Rotary Craft, you can't actually make those items in the work table. The work table is used purely for machines. If you want to build components, you have to build the components in a normal crafting table. So now we have all of the ingredients, we're going to go to the work table and put them together. Now I've made myself a few extra base panels and I'll show you the reason why. So let's put this together. We need two redstone in the middle slot and the bottom slot. A base panel either side of the bottom piece of redstone. The shaft unit goes on the middle right slot and then the rest of the slots are filled with the steel ingots. Now as you can see on the left hand side, we have ourselves the DC electric engine. 
Now, one of the things I'm going to do here is just fill the rest of the table up and double up on my ingredients. Now, work, the work table works very similar to the way that a crafting table 2 does in vanilla Minecraft. If I click on the item on the right hand side, I'll be able to take that item out and put it into my inventory and I can then click again and take the second one. Now what you can also do is if you supply a redstone signal to the work table it will pop out whatever is in the production side. So if you've got this connected up to a series of pipes or something like an applied energistics network, putting a redstone signal through will pop out all the item that it's producing. And also when you leave the crafting the uh, work table, the items stay in there. So you can pump new, uh, new materials in and keep producing the items that you want to build. So I'm going to take a second engine because they are very, very useful. So let's just find a little bit of space to pop it down. Quick look, no creepers, there we go. So we're going to take our DC electric engine. You're also going to need a redstone torch. We'll pop the engine down here. Now what you can see is when you pop the engine down, Initially you have a little red box that appears in front of it now that appears on the side where the shaft is because that's where you would connect your Machines and that's something we'll cover in a future video and to turn it on just the same as you would with a redstone engine Pop a redstone torch next to it and you can see that the rotary shaft starts to turn So there you have it. You've got your first basic power If you remove the redstone torch It does take a few seconds for it to wind down because it's it's still got residual power left in but that is your very basic power source for rotary craft. Now there is one other little bonus item that you can make and what you're going to need at the crafting table is wooden planks in the bottom right corner, a stick in the middle and then a HSLA steel ingot in the top left corner and that will give you a rotary craft screwdriver. Now that works pretty much the same way that the crescent hammer and the wrench and the screwdrivers work in other mods which allows you to go up to your engines or your rotary craft machines and by right clicking on them you can change the direction in which they're facing. So guys there you have it, you have your work table, you have your first source of power for rotary craft and with the last video you have your blast furnace, you have all the basic tools you need to get started with the rotary craft mod. So thanks again for watching guys and I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please like, share and subscribe because it helps the channel to go and I'll see you next time. So until then, goodbye for now.